Well, here we are on the Neva, where we've got an hour's journey now. Look, going down, it's quite very wide waterway. It's quite choppy today, too. These wonderful houses, palaces everywhere. And it's, it's simply amazing. Cl cloudless blue skies. And this city has an atmosphere about it like none other that I've ever been to. And we've just come spending the afternoon in the Yusufov Palace. And you, it's impossible to imagine riches, wealth, and good taste as well. It's simply astonishing. And of course, the added extra is the mock-up of Rasputin's assassination in the basement, but done beautifully uh, with the soldiers and the family sitting there and Rasputin in the, in the cellar where he drank the poison and was then shot three times in the head, in the liver and in the heart, but still managed to crawl to the entrance of the building where he was found, then thrown into the icy Neva where he survived for another two hours. An amazing man. And now we've been given a glass of champagne for our hard work. It's marvellous. It's very good health. Well, just as it's appearing under the bridge, there is the, the hermitage, all green and gold, looking absolutely wonderful. And of course, the treasures inside it, simply wealth untold. <laughs> sitting on the top deck, there's a great danger that if the bridge doesn't behead us, we'll knock the bridge down. <laughs> No, we've, we've got about four foot clearance, so all's well, all's that's time. And then as we emerge, we see the Hermitage again in all its glory on our right-hand side in the latish afternoon sun. And it really is, it's the most wonderful picture. And the astonishing part of this is that this is the most wealthy art collection in the world which was presided over by for years by a completely totalitarian communist regime. On the other side of the boat, and on the other side of us, we've got a, a holiday cruiser going on there. I don't know what it is. It's a very more dust and joy ride, but uh, it's absolutely marvellous trip round along the Nava. And um, the Hermitage is looking even better today than it did last night. This is Gorms River. It makes the, um, it makes the river too. A little dyke <laughs> in comparison. Uh, maybe the reason for him was uh, to teach people uh, in a strange way he behaved improperly for people not to follow such way of uh, life. So come here, please. Space is big enough. So you um, the Rasputin was a married man with five children. Thank you. you can see here is according to the memoir, memoirs written by the same people. And uh, so what they are doing here? They are waiting, waiting for Felix downstairs in order to rescue him. I say, at first, the uh, Felix offered us something. Here, and he found the student with the half a bottle of vodka still, still sitting and drinking, waiting for the invitation upstairs. You know, he came to to see his wife, the sick wife, as it was, I should say. So Felix took his gun in the name of his younger brother Michael, who stayed outside uh, with his illegitimate wife, and he didn't care to come back to Russia. And uh, the provisional government was formed, and that provisional government didn't make no, uh, attractive uh, reforms for the country, and he lost popularity, and communist party credit by Lenin. He was born in Siberia, he was a peasant by origin, and he possessed the miracle of power. He could stop any attack of any disease only by the power of praying. He was a very religious man. He spent Sorry. <laughs> they just do that, man.
Соколов. Вот сейчас нам позволят посмотреть, да, вот видите, один стульчик мы всегда оставляем без чехла, можно полюбоваться с нашим все остальные такие же. 117 стульчиков и 8 диванчиков. Для театра сделал петербургский мебельщик Соколов. Вот сейчас нам позволят посмотреть, да, вот видите, один стульчик мы всегда оставляем без чехла, можно полюбоваться с нашим все остальные такие же. 117 стульчиков и 8 диванчиков.